Hello guys, welcome to my um, tutorial on how to make some kind of some Galatory um, trip hop style. Um, well, last day I made this um, FLP. It sounds like this. what you're gonna make today um, I'm gonna break down um, different sections like the drums here and all the percussion stuff all the kinds of synths the 808 of course and um, what kind of effects I used I was really easy with effects though um, also put some ambience I'm not gonna go in there but it's there um, and we have all these LFOs and filters which I'm gonna explain how I used it um, but we're gonna start with the part here the drums so I'm gonna put this all off for a second um, I'll leave the LFOs and the, uh, the, the effects on what you get is this kind of groove And we also got this one, this is for the drop, like more uh, percussion in it. Um, and we're gonna see what that looks like. Um, this is it. Well, I got this kick, this um, like Luger kind of kick. Uh, it's pretty punchy and that's what exactly what I needed for this mix in my opinion um, Then I got some hi-hats Some pretty plain hi-hats But I um, used them in a funny kind of way You can see here um, I tried to make this kind of swingy uh, pattern for the, for the hi-hats And also uh, played a lot with the volume it's not a different trick, but it really helps to get that swing going. And of course, your crazy, crazy highest rolls. And what I did here was just a funny kind of experimental thing. Like just putting it off the beat all the time and pitch it up a little bit. And it worked out pretty fine. Wait, let me put off the, the percussion stuff. just creates a little swing in there what I really like for trip hop oh yeah I also um, put up the swing here so you get more like this is the original without swing and you feel like your head's going to bounce a lot more when you put on that swing it works so good for these kind of tracks um, what we got more here yeah I layered the snare oh no I didn't <laughs> so well just delete this one um, and then we got this hi-hat reverb kind of thing just some pretty easy stuff just uh, what I did was like um, I just heard in my head like where I wanted that perk to be and I was just playing around where I wanted it till I, f I think it was nice maybe you don't think so but well <laughs> hey fuck you um, I got some more percussion over here like some bubble 
always works nice for these kind of triple kind of things. Um, also this rim shot. Also just heard in my head like where I wanted to be that and uh, this uh, fits right I guess. And I got like um, this thingy. Also not very interesting stuff but just works nice with, with the trip hop uh, style. And this one, the toms. And what I did there was like, um, you can see it over here. I pitched one down and it created like a really bouncy vibe, you can hear it. Do, 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 do. Oh, and it sounds so good for these kind of tracks. Um, what I also did was like to give every percussion its own space, is to pen uh, a lot. You can do that with this. Like without panning, it sounds a lot drier, I guess. So it's now focused all in the middle of the truck, and I don't like that, in my opinion. So I did this to just create some more, uh, yeah, vibe or room into your drums. Um, and I also got like these reversed uh, symbols just to guide the track along. And these sound like this. It's also not very interesting stuff, but yeah. Also this just normal crash to guide the track. Um, I also got these haze I got from the sample pack, I guess. And I put a lot of reverb on that. You can uh, hear that, actually. And uh, yeah, also EQing is important for like all those drums. Like when you look at the kick, uh, I got the kick over here. You just want to uh, hear what sounds good, like. Here you have like that, that hiss in the kick, and I really didn't like that. I just wanted to be the punchy kick, so I EQ'd it to uh, this, this. And I also put the drum compression on it. Uh, maybe not everyone's favorite style, but yeah, it's just giving more punch to the kick. And with snare, I really didn't do much, I guess. And let me see. Uh, put it into four. Sorry, I'm chaotic as fuck uh, sometimes. Um, oh yeah, I put the reverb on there, but I didn't like that, I guess. Oh, I did. <laughs> I don't know why it's put off now, but okay. Um, yeah, so I got a reverb and uh, also a drum compression. And um, oh no, wait, this is for the. No, it's for the drum compression. Sorry for the chaos sometimes, but it's like a big project. I don't know like everything perfect. And for the build up, I used. So what I did here was um, I took this basic rim shot and I turned the pitch up to 10 so it ranges from 0 to 10 notes and um, I created an automation clip for this one and it's over here so it will pitch up along the drop so it just gives this feeling there's something coming and also created something with the rhythm just to give it the triple kind of vibe. And then I also got this uh, snare roll, uh, and it's always fine, I guess. Just really easy. Also uh, did this with the, the pitching. Uh, you can see it over here. This is the pitch for the snare. And also the panning for the snare. Um, so you get this like a feeling the snare will uh, cross your head while it's going down. So. Yeah, I really like it. Without it, it sounds so so much duller, I guess. Hey. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, this sounds so much better. And especially for triple, like panning is so important. Like panning your uh, percussion and um, your all the kind of 
small things to fill up your track. It gives so much more room to your track. So. Okay, so now we got the percussion stuff going. We're going to do the, the synthesizers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'll put this off and we're gonna put this all on. We're gonna see what's, who's, how it sounds uh, together. Um, I wanna mainly focus on this drop right here. So. <laughs> So uh, where I started with was um, these, this chord progression right here. Um, this is a pad I used for it. And this is just, um, I, I only used stock plugins for, for this project so um, I guess you should could all make this with the normal Fruity Loops 12. Um, what I did here was I got the Amy Lee a preset from Citrus or Citrus, just I don't know. Um, and I uh, I got a stem tool. You can find stem tools over here. And I made uh, for trip hop. It's super good to use the minor seventh or minor ninth chords and just play along with them. I just played along until I found this chord progression and I built off from here. And I also um, didn't make it on beat to, uh, just to give that uh, swing. So when I got that um, these uh, chords I went to um, just a standard fruity loop, uh, fruity keys and just the simple roads on there you can find it over here, preset, um, wait, just here, you can make it to roads, and then it sounds like this, but I also made a lot of um, reverb and chorus and also some EQing to just give it that personal uh, vibe to it. But you can see, like, the base of this is is all the same as the pad I used. Like, these notes, it's all the same. But I just created this on top of it. And I I have actually no idea about music theory, so I can't tell you about how I place notes. I just did it on, on hearing them. Like, um, yeah, you can, like, see if the notes in the scale. So this D5 was in the scale. Um, and then I uh, just octaved it and then I created like a top top melody on it and that's this and you can see to give it that vibe stay off the beat like don't don't think inside the box with with trip hop if you do that you don't get nice trip hop for sure so just just play along with whatever feels nice just hear what feels nice And I think this is a really nice intro for like a drop or something like you can really build off from this and that's exactly what I did. So then I came into uh, Harmless and I just played around with some presets and I found this little twangy uh, preset and that sounds in its original form like this. And I think that that wow that opens up feels really nice to trip up so I just copied and pasted my chord progression into there and wait let me see where it is yeah so this is the basic first stuff this is just the normal por chord progression but what I did was um, created like so off beat like everything is off beat but you have to hear if it sounds nice you have to test like does this sound nice I'm gonna try could also be like 
whatever you want to try along with it. It's really funny to do. For trap up, it doesn't matter to be like on the beat. And then um, I uh, for the pa for this uh, synth, I created another top layer on it. So just stopping them layers is so fun. And I also just did this by hearing if it sounds nice to me. I, I am not an expert at musical theory, so don't ask me anything about that because I don't know. I never had any music lessons or anything, so this is just all out of my head. And then we came to the drop kind of synths, and that's this one. And then um, I also got this mini synth loaded up. It's uh, also a stock plugin from Fruity Loops. And what I did was just put on the Super Saw plate along with like the modifier and just a little bit of attack on it. Um, never anything did with this. Uh, yeah, what did I do actually? I didn't do anything like. A lot. Where did he do that? Where did he do it? But what I did, I was really important. Is is like normally it sounds like this. But in my opinion, this is way too much. Way too much. So what I did was, you can go to this uh, envelope over here and put on the arpeggiator and uh, what I did was just playing around with this until it sounds nice. And then what it does is like it um, arpeggiates the chords you already put in there. Um, so you get like these play uh, notes played, um, uh, yeah, just after each other to get that arpeggio. And it sounds so so dope in my opinion. And I um, yeah I put some effects on there. I put a lot of reverb on there. The big room, also nice. And of course already um, yeah just paramatic equalizing with the uh, with this one, um, I don't know what I did with this limiter actually. I have no idea, but I don't know if it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I got this filter, uh, Fruity Love filter. What you can do with this. <laughs> can you can cut that off like to 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 make an intro for for the drop and you can do that by clicking create automation clip so you got this um, automation clip and I got that for mine over here it's this one you can hear it <laughs> So that's how I made that synthesizer. A really nice one in my opinion. Um, yeah, and just some sound goodenizer, because why the fuck not? It's there, it's free. So, and it sounds a little bit better <laughs> in my opinion. So next thing we got is this 808 over here. Um, let me show you. Well, I just, um, wait, let me search the 808, yeah, here it is. So this is just the basic pattern. And what I did was trying to make those slides, like these, you also hear them over here. Mm -hmm. 
And these slides, you can make them by um, going to this envelope over here, uh, right here, and you put on the slide. So you can slide the notes up or down, whatever you like. And what I did here was like um, putting everything down except for the hold. And what this does is making your um, 808 just play um, short notes. Like when you stop the notes, the, the sound will stop. And here, uh, normally it's um, uh, key, um, tuned to uh, C, the 808. But I tuned it to C minor because this uh, 808 is in C minor. So this, this will make your uh, 808 in tune. And what I did on the, mo uh, the mixing here is um, I put a fruity limiter on it. Uh, I don't know exactly what I did over here. Oh yeah, this is for the for the so uh, side chain. Um, so here I got the threshold down like this far, uh, just to dip the 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 bass while the kick is playing. So your kick will stand out more. Um, how you do that is you got your kick over here. You um, uh, go to your uh, channel of your 808 and link to controller. Uh, and what this does is making the kick um, interfere with the 808 and the limiter will drop your um, sound of your 808 uh, while the kick is playing. So I also got this fast distortion on it, just not that much, but just a little bit of distortion just to make it a little bit more fat. And I did a lot more of EQing on this one because you have that super dirty, nasty, high high sound and I li didn't like that. So I just wanted the bass to sound. And I did it with this. And also here it was like a li little bit too much bass. So I put it down a little bit. Um, I also put a multi-band compressor on it just to make it more fat. And yeah, that's it. That's my 808. I'm honestly not really good at 808s. Um, so if you have tips for me, leave them down in the comments. Um, because yeah, I also have a lot to learn. And then we got... Um, let me see. Oh yeah, this one. This one was really funny too. This is also a free um, a preset of Harmless. It's already made. You can find it over here with the presets. And then um, what I did was, uh, let me see. It's go to eight. I just put a yeah, lots of reverb actually. I want to say a little but it's a lot. And also a little bit of sound goodenizer. And this makes the sound like more, like this is super dry. This is so much better. And um, also for this, you want to be off the beat. Like only this, this section over here is on beat actually, uh, actually this section. And this creates just a more swing, swing to it. And you can also play with like extending the notes like that. It's really fun to play around with, so, and if you want to, you can actually change these kind of volumes to, um, yeah, make every note hit harder or softer, whatever you want, but I didn't want to play along with that too much. Um, and we also got this voice over here. Uh, wait, actually, I'm going to show it over here. And what I did here was like just creating a little stair for, for these notes to hit. So you get, um, and as you can see, it's not in the grid at all again. And I uh, changed the volume to, to increase that kind of slight idea. You can also say it's like a vocal chop, but it's just a, st a standard plugin from Harmless again. It's uh, called Art of Voice, this one. And also on the on the um, 
width here. I also got a filter just to play around with also the cutoff. I only use this cutoff from the filter. And also EQing, not that much going on here. Um, and that's everything I guess. So now we're gonna go more in depth of um, what kind of tricks I did to give the extra vibe. Um, um, one trick I really like to do is um, cutting like the first two uh, uh, beats off and then let the snare hit where it usually hits so you get like a small pause here and you can actually fill it up with like this 808 over here for instance but I also use it over here um, as you can hear so what I did was like just creating a reverse symbol um, I'm gonna show you really quick how to do it so you just have the normal one you reverse it and then I created like this small small break stuff and I added these and as you can hear this one sounds like all the way to the left of your head and then this last one is pan all the way to the right so you hear that on the right side of your ear and so this creates like a small doorbell kind of feeling and it really hits nice on the on the snare like it's just a really simple trick but so much fun I also used it over here and what I did here was like playing just only these first um, uh, notes of, uh, of the of the road on the uh, break and I added this cowbell because why the fuck we need more cowbell and more lives and then just continue the song as if it was nothing like there was no break and um, yeah what I like to do with this is like um, create uh, a drop that builds up in the drop itself so first you have only these pads and 808 and the synth like um, oh, I turn it off I don't know why but first you got only this first only the 808 the synth and the pad and the pad for like the ambient stuff and then I um, in the s second half I let those tanky synths come back like so you can uh, yeah you build it up then here we got the bus club coming through and then what we got next oh yeah here at the end we got the voice re uh, returning so yeah that's it and what I also really like to do is to play along with with samples for instance this cat I use actually got this song for a um, sample from a song from Tennyson uh, for you it's a really great song if you don't know it you should check it out for sure and I got this laughing girl and I just found it on the internet I don't know where exactly but you can just find find some samples and stuff it's so much fun to do so um, you get this kind of so just creates like a little bit of fills in in those breaks I just taught you like here um, and for the build up I let this synth play I did this with that fi filter with that uh, cutoff I taught you er earlier and I just played the first uh, chord progression well just the first chord and I just um, let it come through like you know that it's gonna be there but not how it's gonna be there so it just creates a nice um, intro for the drop itself and I also like to use these really nice for a build up or anything or just for some natural ambience you don't really notice them because they're really back in the mix but yeah they just give this nice atmosphere <laughs> And with the LFOs, 
I got this white noise over here. The white noise you can really super easy to make. Like you go to a trigger oscillator, three times oscillator, and then um, you put all these on random, and then you just got this. And what I did was um, in the in the mixing, I, I created a gross beat and this side chains the the white noise so without it sounds like just and this side chain just gives a little bit of um, extra swing to it I guess and then uh, I also made a cutoff uh, envelope and what I do this makes like a really nice riser so this is the envelope for the white noise you can see it over here. Um, let's put this off. You hear that? Like it just gives a nice rise, and uh, you can also make it go down, like it's a kind of impact stuff. And yeah, it's so much fun to play around with that. And what's also important is like creating an ambience for this first intro here. Just these um, waterfall rainforest sounds I found on the internet. And it works really nice with, with this track, just to give more vibe to it. So much fun. So. Um, yeah, I also created for the for the first hint over here. How I did that was um, here. This is the envelope for the filter, and I also did it with a love uh, a love filter, and just created this nice pattern to to make the the synth go in and out. So it's not like just basic, like without, it sounds like. There isn't going uh, much on here, so uh, yeah, it just creates more interesting stuff for your beat. Um, and I got some more, like this is for the reverb of the, of the, um, of the roads. So what you get is like, uh, I guess it will come in here. It's for the reverb of the of the of the roads. So the I don't know if you can actually hear it, but it creates more uh, ambience, and you know you feel that something is coming, but yeah, you can't really tell what it is, but it's the reverb building up on the piano or the roads, just to guide the track along. Um, and I also, it was also really much fun to do. Uh, yeah, just for, for this gross beat envelope, uh, what I did, I put a gross beat, um, I guess it's, uh, yeah, it's this one, and um, I hope you can hear it. Hey. You heard it? Hey. It's kind of like a tape stopper, and how you, how you do this is just at the end, you make this small bend with the time modulator. And um, you can um, choose whenever you want to go in, like when with creation, uh, creating an automation clip. And then you can turn it on with that. And I did it over here. And as you can hear, you hear that? And it just gives a nice extra feature to the track.
It's all small tricks, but it's really fun to use it and you can make the track so much more interesting than just plain um, patterns that's coming in and out. So yeah, um, that was my tutorial. Um, and my latest tips are um, don't make it sound like too generic, like um, do a lot of stuff so so you get this own kind of sound and um, yeah just play play around with everything like there's no no shame in in doing something wrong because you can also change it later on like um, just create out of the box don't be inside this box where you have this pattern and this kick and this snare and just play generic type of beats just be creative be be yourself be yeah i don't know what just just make fun of making the project like nothing is the same here like just a small part is just a normal beat or anything um yeah i hope you learn a lot of this guys and please leave a like or uh, subscribe um if you have any questions just ask them in the comments uh, i'll be uh, yeah I'm grateful to uh, answer them and uh, yeah, have a good day. See you all. Bye.